but with the first episode I put out, her response was like, oh my God, like I got goosies. You should do this more. I love this. And this has been kind of like a similar feedback I've been getting from others. And I don't think it's because of necessarily what the content is, because especially like in the first 20 episodes or first 20 uh, practices, the quality of my recording and all, all these <laughs> things were not perfect. You're a podcaster. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was like really encouraging folks to pause and th look a little bit inside and start like believing themselves. The feedback I've been getting was really interesting. I get uh, folks uh, sharing comments or feedback in private channels we have uh, that, hey, I was experiencing this pain in my body. And since I've been doing this for 15 days, I see a change. I don't have that pain anymore. I've been experiencing grief after my dad's loss and I couldn't fix that feeling, but now I started accepting it. So like, this is a very familiar feeling. And I know those of us who have been doing similar practices and meditation doesn't have to be just like sitting down and closing your eyes. Similar practices that really brings us in and start like becoming more aware of ourselves have these uh, sort of impacts. So uh, those who have been doing it, they know what I'm uh, talking about. And I think these feedbacks really kept the whole project going. Uh, and that's, that's the truth. Like my own, because I'm not making, uh, of course, any uh, income from that project and I'm not going to uh, because I think there, that uh, that project is something that I really have to do for my people to continue bringing that true mental health uh, to my people who are uh, in a very special situation right now in Iran. And it's in Farsi, right? It is in Farsi. Wow. So there are probably not that many Farsi language meditation apps or experiences that people have access to. I mean, I just want to ask this too, like, is the, would it be difficult for somebody located in Iran to release an app like that, or, or rather to, sorry, to release a podcast like that? Like, would that be inappropriate in some way, just given what the culture or the government is interested in? Or how, how do you think about that? I don't think so. Uh, although I heard like, uh, meditation groups such as like Vipassana, they had hard time maintaining their events in Iran. Uh, 